good morning everyone good morning. a very warm good morning a very warm welcome to a yoga session hosted by santa clara county library i'm so happy to be back in this new year wish you all a very very happy new year i hope you all had a wonderful holiday season with family and friends while being safe at home i know this year it was a little bit different for all of us but i guess uh, the uniqueness of it we'll remember it for the rest of our life everything is has its own place and reason i guess so that being said we will begin the session today in a seated position so settle down on your mat in a comfortable cross leg position place your hands on top of your knees and very gently close your eyes Let's all begin by bringing our awareness to the breath. Take one very slow, deep, long breath in. And very slowly exhale. Let's do this one more time. Take one A very slow deep long breath in without lifting your shoulders and very slowly as you exhale just let it go settling down on your mat a little bit more trying to create spaciousness and comfort both in your physical body and your mind start to let go of your knees a little bit closer to the ground relax in your inner thighs let's try to drop our shoulders a little bit closer to the ground Letting go of any tightness or stiffness may be, we may be holding around that area. Relax your facial muscles. Relax your jaw. And softly relax your tongue inside your mouth. allow the weight of your eyelids to relax all the little tiny muscles inside your eyeballs allowing the eyeballs to relax within the sockets relax the space in between your eyebrows relax the back of your head and the top of your head let's take a moment to scan the body all the way from the head to the toes and notice if there is any stiffness or tightness that you may be holding or feeling in a specific area this morning gently direct your breath to that area relaxing all the surrounding muscles bring your awareness to the center of your chest
creating openness and spaciousness within our heart. Trying to receive whatever comes in our way with grace and poise. For the next one hour, let's all try to stay connected with our body, mind and breath. Very slowly begin to open your eyes by first bringing the gaze towards the floor and very slowly coming up to eye level. Gently release your hands. If you just need to move your shoulders and your neck, you can go ahead and do that. Let's begin the session today with a simple neck rotation. So we're going to just start to open up the bodies because we had a um, two weeks gap. So we'll slowly start to warm up the body and we eventually we will increase the pace in the next few weeks. So we're going to bring our chin towards our collarbone. So gently try to bring the chin towards your collarbone. And now become aware of the gentle stretch you are experiencing at the back of your neck. If you feel you're slowly lifting your shoulders up, drop them down towards the ground as you bring your chin closer to the collarbone. Slowly, let's take a rotation. Turn your chin towards your right shoulder. Take it all the way up, pointing your chin towards the ceiling. Taking it over towards the left shoulder and gently bring it back to your start position. Let's reverse the direction of the rotation. Slowly start to take your chin over towards the left. Let's take it all the way up. Let's turn it towards the right side and slowly back to chin block position. We're going to move our chin up and down. Slowly as you inhale, let's take the chin up towards the ceiling and feel the back of your head resting in between your shoulder blades, creating an openness in the front of your neck this time. And exhale, close your eyes, tuck your chin back into the collarbone. One more. Inhale, trying to take the chin up, look towards the ceiling. You can also exercise your eyes by opening them wide. And exhale, let's close our eyes, tap the chin towards the collarbone. Let's come into a neutral position. The chin is parallel to the ground. We'll stretch the side of the neck a little bit now. So extend your right hand all the way out. Kindly mute yourself and hear some noises. Right hand is out, extended. Try to spread your fingers out. So we are kind of think that you're pushing something away from you on towards your right side. Let's mute all participants, please, and hear some noises, background noises. Let's take our left hand all the way up. Gently bend your left hand. Place your left palm on top of your right ear. Now all we are going to do is we are going to gently guide our left ear lobe towards the left shoulder. Okay? So slowly, you are not pulling the head, but you are guiding the head. Slowly try to take your left ear lobe towards the left shoulder. Stay. Just normal breathing, don't hold your breath. And see if you can go a little bit deeper into the position. Very slowly, as if your head has become really heavy, slowly bring it back. No rush whatsoever. Release your left hand and release your right hand. Let's just rotate our shoulders off and reverse the direction of the rotation. 
Let's do the same thing on the other side. Extend your left hand out. All fingers spread out like this. Now something you're pushing away towards your left side. Approximately your wrist, elbow and shoulders are in one straight line, which means to say it's not up. Just use your peripheral view. Roughly you can have it in one straight line. Let's take our right hand. Bend. Placing your right palm on top of your left ear this time. And now you can close your eyes for better connectivity with the muscles of your neck. And then gently try to guide your right ear lobe towards your right shoulder. There comes a point when you feel you have maxed out. Pause. Breathe. And now let's go maybe a tiny bit more. Breathe to your left hand and the left side of your neck. And now slowly take your time. No rush whatsoever. Release it really slowly. Release your right hand. Release your left hand. Let's rotate our shoulders. And reverse the direction of the rotation of our shoulders. Let's take our hand out. Take your right hand all the way out with your fingers pointing down. There is a lot of energy in the heel of your palm. So as if you were pressing something in front of you, right? So again, the wrist, elbow, and your shoulders are in one straight line. Use your left hand. And let's try to pull the fingers towards the body as you press the heel of the palm away from you. So you should feel the stretch on your bicep muscles. Now let's see how it feels to bring that hand slightly lower towards the ground. And release, let it go. Let's do the same thing on the other side, fingers pointing down, heel of the palm has a lot of energy. Right hand, try to slowly and gently pull the fingers towards the body. Stay. As you do every stretch during the class, your focus should be to understand where exactly am I feeling this stretch. That brings a lot of awareness and also it allows us to stay in the present moment without wandering away to plan things that we need to do. We are always in the present moment with better connection with the body. It also prevents injury. Very slowly, let's bring that hand down, see how that feels. And let's let it go. All right, let's start with a simple cat and cow position. So set position for a cat and cow. The wrist is in line with your shoulders. Your knees are in line with your hips. You have space between your legs, like the four legs of the table. The neck is in line with your spine. You are in a neutral position. Inhale, look towards the ceiling. And exhale, round. Inhale, look towards the ceiling. And exhale, round. Let's come into a neutral position. You can stay the way you are throughout the class. I will be adjusting myself to the camera so for you to have a better view. Now we're going to anchor the toes, so go ahead and tuck your toes. Let's begin by extending the left leg all the way up. Flex your feet. Point and flex. Point and flex. Rotate and reverse. Stay. Let's drop the ball of the feet of the left leg down to the ground and press the heel all the way to the back. Try to connect with our left calf muscles. The more we press the heel to the back, the greater the stretch you're going to feel on the left leg, the back of the left leg. Just become aware of that sensation. Slowly release, we're going to take our right leg and turn the toes outward. So take your right leg toes outward and then drop your left feet completely down. 
adjust yourself such that your right hand, your right knee, and your left feet are approximately in one straight line. And because you turn your right leg toes outward, it will help you to release your left hand very comfortably. It won't lose your balance that easily. Let's take our left hand all the way up. We're going to start with a very simple uh, side body stretch and maybe progress into that depending on how we feel. Let's take the left hand all the way over our head, stretching the whole left side of the body. And breathe. Very slowly lift your left hand up. If you're still okay here and comfortable, see how it feels to lift your left leg off the ground. If it is too much for you, if this is not for you, you can try to practice by tapping and releasing, tapping and releasing. Those of us who can hold it up, lift that leg up. If you're still okay here, you have an option to take your left hand once again over your head, involving a little bit of balance. Now this is the time when we stop breathing and we hold our tongue really tightly inside our mouth. Make sure you direct your breath to the left side of your body and release. Let's just tap that left leg. So don't place your entire feet down to the ground. Now we're going to bring everything in and everything out, right? So slowly lift your left leg, take your left hand up, try to point your hand towards your toes and gently tap taking your left hand all the way over. Now remember, you can just stay here. You don't have to do, if you cannot balance, that's okay. Those of us who can, slowly as you exhale, reach and inhale, tap. Three more, exhale, reach, inhale, tap. Two more, reach and tap. Let's do this just one last time. Reach and tap. Gently bring your left hand down. Now adjust your hands to be shoulder width apart. Bring your right leg back in position. Bring your left leg back in position. Relax your toes. You are back to your original start position, the cat and cow position. Stay where you are. We're going to take our right hand all the way up. Remember, we had it on the ground. So let's rotate that wrist off a little bit. And reverse the direction of the rotation of your right wrist and place it down to the ground. Simple cat and cow. Inhale, look towards the ceiling. And exhale, round. Let's stay in this rounded position a little bit longer to release that lower back. Inhale, belly button to the ground, gaze to the ceiling. Exhale, round. Let's come into a neutral position. The neck is back in line with the spine. I'm going to turn this side. You don't have to change anything about yourself. Stay where you are. Let's tuck the toes. Gently extend your right leg all the way out. Point and flex your toes, point, and flex, rotate your ankle, and reverse. Let's catch the ball of the feet on the ground and press that heel all the way to the back, this time connecting with our right calf muscle. And breathe. Very gently take your time. Turn your left leg toes outwards, towards the left side. And place your right feet completely down to the ground. So when I say completely down, that means to say the knife edge. Look at my feet if you are able to observe. Right now my knife edge is not on the ground. I'm leaning to the inner edge. I want you to do the opposite. I want you to shift your body weight so that the entire feet is on the ground. Then take a look quickly. Left hand, left knee, right leg in one straight line and you are easily able to release your right hand up towards the ceiling. Let's start with a simple side body stretch. 
originate your stretch from your hips, not from your shoulders. Although you're not really lifting it, I want you to feel that the stretch is starting from your hips and reaching towards your fingers. Now press that knife edge a little bit more so you can feel the stretch all the way to your toes. And breathe. Very slowly take your time. Take that right hand all the way up. Still okay here? Option to lift that leg up. See how that feels. If you are getting a little scared to lift that leg up, tap and slowly just release a little bit and then bring it back. Those of you who can take it all the way up. Flex your feet. Engage those glutes and your thighs. Still okay here? Able to breathe? Are you able to smile? Let's take that right hand all the way over. Squeeze your belly. Breathe. Right hand goes all the way up. Rest the toes only. So the whole feet is not resting down to the ground. Breathe. Very slowly as you inhale, let's lift everything up. And let's try to point that hand all the way out. Inhale, tap and lift. Exhale and reach. Three more. Breathe. And reach. Two more. And reach. And last time and reach. Very slowly, let's take that right hand up, drop the uh, right leg down to the ground, circle that hand, place it down. Let's bring that left leg back in position and then you can bring your right leg back in position, relax your toes. Toe nails to the ground. Let's change our hand position now. Before that, first let's circle the hand up. So just take your left hand up, rotate, and reverse, and bring it down. Let's turn the fingers pointing towards the body. So the heel of the palm is pressing down, your fingers are pointing towards your body. And do the same thing with your other hand as well. This way. Inhale, look towards the ceiling, and exhale, up. Inhale, lift towards the ceiling and exhale. Down. Coming into a neutral position, the neck is in line with the spine. Take your time, so fingers pointing forward and gently walk your hands, bringing yourself up into a standing position on your knees. Those of us who have knee issues, protect by rolling your mat and placing your knees this way, so that way your knees are not impacted. I'll go diagonally so you can see me better. Let's tap our toes. We're going into half handle. Bring your hands forward with your palms facing towards each other. So the hands are not exactly in one straight line now, but we have a slight angle with our arms. Let's take our left hand all the way up towards the ceiling. Reach with your right hand a little bit farther away from you. Palm, left palm facing outward. Keep looking towards your left fingers and start to arch up your back and gently place your fingers on top of your heel. Still okay here? If you are unable to place your hand like this, and your hands are hanging like up in the air, then take your hand and place it on your lower back. So you support the lower back and then you can arch yourself up. Those of us who are able to place the hands on the heel, continue to keep it there. Right hand goes all the way over, diagonally. You can stay here. You have an option to relax your toes. You can stay here or you can gently walk your hands down to the ground. You can stay here or you can rest the heel of the palm down and give a nice deep stretch to the body. You have multiple options. Pick one that works best for you today. Relax your jaw and breathe. 
Very slowly take your hand, reverse. Bring it back to fingertips. Bring it back onto your heel. Stay. Breathe. Let's take that hand all the way to the back. And now circle your hand. Give a full rotation to that shoulder and bring your hands back. 45 degree angle. Let's just rotate those shoulders off and reverse the direction of the rotation. I'll go this way now. Tuck your toes. Point your hands 45 degree angle. Right hand goes all the way up. Palm turning outward. Left hand reaching a little bit more away from you. Looking at your right hand, gently placing your hand on your heel or your hip. Let's take that left hand diagonally all the way over. Still okay here? Relax your toes. Slowly crawl yourself down. Fingertips down or the heel of the palm down. Option. And breathe. And breathe. Back onto your fingertips. Back onto your heel. Stay. Take it to the back. Rotate. 45 degrees. Release. Let's try to circle the shoulders off. And Reverse the direction of the rotation. Release your hands. Just shake your hands off a little bit. You can release your mat if you have rolled it. Let's meet in a downward dog position. Tuck your toes and let's meet in a simple downward dog position. I'm going to go sideways so you can watch my feet. All we are doing is we're going to pedal our legs. So press one heel down to the ground. Coming onto the tippy toes of one. And switch. And switch. And one more. And this time work on pressing both your heels down towards the ground. Making a deep connection with the back of both your legs. Very slowly take your hand. Walk your hands back towards your body. Let's come into a simple forward bend. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, full forward bend. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, full forward bend. One more. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, full forward bend. Flexing those lower back muscles. Press your belly into your thighs. Fly your hands to the side. Stay where you are. Let's try to sit a little bit deeper. Pull the belly button towards you. Take your hands all the way up. Interlock your hands. Press the heel of the palm all the way up. Separate your legs out a little bit wider. We're going to open up the side body. Simply take your hands all the way towards your right side. Still okay here? You want to go a little bit deeper? Open your elbows away from each other, right? And then gently try to bring your right elbow next to your body. And bump up your left hip. So I want you to push your hip away from the midline. When you release this position, make your core really strong. So pull your belly button towards you. Bring your hands diagonally. And then keep that support position by keeping your core tight and bring it back. So that way you don't strain your lower back. Let's do it on the other side. Gently take your hands towards your left side. Start to push your hips now towards your right side. Still okay here? Open up. Let's try to bring the left elbow next to the body. Again, this is the time when we don't breathe. Remember to breathe. Core tight. Extend. Core tight. Back to center. Release. Rotate your shoulders and reverse the direction of the rotation of your shoulders. Shake your legs off. Let's step to the top of the mat. Bringing the hands to the heart center. Inhale, take your hands all the way up. Let's arch up the back. Give a back bend to the body. Exhale, let's bring ourselves into a forward bend position. Let's step the right leg to the back. 
Let's shift the left leg to the back. We meet again in a downward dog position. Start to pedal your legs off. Step your right leg forward. Drop your left feet down. Stay where you are. So you can watch my leg. And inhale, take your hands. Warrior position, take your hands all the way up. Let's arch up that back. And breathe. Pull the belly button towards you. Let's place our hands, frame your right leg. Release your left heel off the ground. Let's meet in a downward dog position and pedal your legs off. Step your left leg forward. Your left knee and your ankle stay in one straight line. Drop your right feet down. Pull the belly button towards you. Warrior one on the left side. Arch up your back. And breathe. Very slowly, circle your hands. Place your hands on either side of your left leg. Release your right heel off the ground. Let's take that left leg to the back. Meeting in a simple downward dog position. Adding on, let's take the left leg all the way up. Bend your left leg coming into a fire hydrant position. Breathe. Point your left leg towards the ceiling. Drop your left leg down and pedal your legs off. Point your right leg all the way up to the ceiling. Bend your right leg at the knee fire hydrant position. Right leg goes all the way up, point your toes, back to your simple, normal, downward dog position. Right leg steps forward. Left feet comes down. Pull the belly button towards you into a warrior two position. The knee and the ankle stay in one straight line. Back feet completely down to the ground. Gaze towards your front hand. Breathe. Bring your hands into T-arm position. Place your hands on either side of your right leg. Release your left heel off the ground. Let's take that right leg back, coming back to our downward dog position. Step your left leg forward. Right feet comes down. Pull the belly button towards you. Warrior two on the left side. And breathe and breathe, T-arm position, frame your left leg, release your right heel off the ground, let's take that left leg back into a fire hydrant position, adding on, changing something about the sequence, from a downward dog, let's move into a plank position, upper body parallel to the ground, don't sag your hips like this, don't lift your hips like that. Upper body simply parallel to the ground. Bend your knees, hollow your knees. No rustic of the knees. Breathe. Back to downward dog. Hips up, crown of the head down. Inhale, plank. Exhale, bend your knees. Hovering off the ground, catch your breath here. And slowly let's meet back in a downward dog position. So I'm using this little fillers between our warrior sequence by now. You may have figured it out. Let's take the right leg forward. Now don't drop your back feet down this time because we are going to go into warrior three. We did one and two, let's do three now. Involves balance. We're going to hop the leg a little forward for convenience. So hop your back leg a little bit closer to the body first. Place your fingertips in front of your toes. So you're no longer framing your leg, but you're moving your hands forward like this, right? Now see how it feels to gently lift that leg up. Those of us who cannot, we're going to tap and release, tap and release until we gain confidence. Those of us who can lift it up, point those toes up and breathe. And breathe, relax. Lift the leg higher, point those toes. Just one more. I know your right thigh is burning. 
Left leg comes down. Right leg goes back. Let's meet in a downward dog position. Left leg steps forward. Right heel is off the ground. Catch your breath. Move your hands. Place it in front of your toes. Hop your back leg a tiny bit closer. So you have a grip for better, uh, to be able to lift that leg better. And then slowly lift that leg up. Still okay here? Lift it up higher. Point your toes. Breathe. Lift it higher. Two more breaths here, guys. Left high needs that breath. Breathe. Last time, higher. Lift it. Let's drop that right leg back. Left leg joins the right. Meet in your downward dog position. Adding on. Inhale, plank position. Exhale, drop your knees down. Relax your toes. Bend your elbows towards your body. So don't let them go sideways. Bend it towards your body. Right? So there's a difference between this and this. So bend it towards your body. Hollow your belly. Chin down to the ground. Inhale, meet in a full cobra position. Exhale, tuck your toes. Let's meet back in a downward dog position and start to pedal your legs off. Inhale, back to plank. Exhale, knees down, relax your toes. Bend your elbows towards your body, start to hollow your belly, chin down to the ground. Inhale into a full cobra position. Tuck your toes. Bring yourself into a downward dog position and start to pedal your legs off. Gently drop your knees down and let's take a break. Let it go. Surrender to the mat. Massage your wrists off. Very slowly lift your head up. Let's meet once again in a downward dog position. This time, walk your feet towards your hands. Right leg comes forward, left leg, leg comes forward, and keep walking until you end up in a forward bend position. Let go of your shoulders and the crown of your head. And breathe. Inhale, half it up. Exhale, full forward bend. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, full forward bend. One more. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, full forward bend. Bend your knees, press your belly into your thighs, fly your hands to the side, take your hands all the way up. Let's try to take our palm. So you're going to take your right palm up to the ceiling like this. And you're going to hold, right? So I know my hands are getting a little cut off here. So you're going to keep your right palm facing up to the ceiling. Separate your legs out. And let's stretch the side body. So you're just stretching. The, it feels so nice right now. Your muscles are warmed up. And come back to the center. Switch left palm up to the ceiling. And let's open up the left side of the body. And come back to the center. And release. Let's rotate the shoulders off and reverse the direction of the rotation of our shoulders. All right. Let's take our legs really wide. So we're going to do both sides, triangle position actually. Our toes are pointing forward. So we are not in a PA position, but we have our toes facing to the top of the mat. And our legs are no longer within the frame of our mat. We are wider than the width of the mat. Dig your right heel and point your toes towards your right side. So in some sense, you are in a warrior feet position, except your knee is not bent, right? Basically, the uh, heel of your front leg is in line with the arch of your back leg. Let's open up into warrior two hands, right? So warrior legs without the bend, warrior two hands. Now we're going to take our right hand 
and go towards the inside of that leg. But before that, keep your hands at the same height. So we are not going nose down right now. We are going to go straight up. There's a solid surface here and we're trying to slide to grab those keys or whatever or which is on the countertop. So bump up your hip, your left hip. Start to start work, start working from your left hip. Push your hip. Now observe your right thigh, inner thigh. Maybe something is happening over there. Push it up a little bit more. If you bend this knee, you will not feel anything. So make sure your right knee is not bent. Push it a little bit more. Still able to breathe? Still all right? Now let's go down. So turn your palm. Take your right palm to the inside of that right angle and take your left hand all the way up. You can just stay here. This is a lot going on for you. In the back of your right thigh, just stay there. Don't go any further. Comfortable, slide, slide, and reach. And breathe. The thing that I don't want you to do is to bend this knee. Then you will lose your stretch. And breathe. Look down to the ground if your neck is getting strained. Pull the belly button towards you. Come up strong. Warrior two arms. Release your hands out. Dig your heel. Turn all toes pointing forward. Start position. Let's release those knees off a little bit. So just pedal those knees off without changing the distance between the legs, bringing articulation to those knee joints. And come back to the center. Dig your left heel and gently turn your toes towards the left side. Warrior two hands, both knees locked. Start by bumping up your right hip now. So reach with your charge forward with your left hand forward like that. And a little bit more. And a tiny bit more. Start your connection with the back of your left leg. Nothing happening. Slightly push it a little bit more. Breathe. Slowly, let's take that left hand just naturally wherever it comes. This is good. When you feel you have stopped breathing, that's when you need to dial back. Right? That means you're pushing it beyond the flow of the body. And a little bit more. And a tiny bit more. And maybe to the ground. Maybe you can look down. So the neck doesn't get strained. Breath has to be always flowing evenly. One more. One really super slow deep long breath. Maybe your core really hard. Squeeze your abdominal muscles. Press on those feet. Warrior your two hands. Release your hands. Let's turn those uh, toes facing forward. Let's rotate our shoulders off and reverse the direction of the rotation of the shoulders. Slowly heel to yourself. Come back to the center. This time, if you can, hug your legs together. Those of you who can. Otherwise, you can keep them slightly apart like that. Let's see what works for you. Let's take our hands forward. We are heading into a chair position. Your palms are facing towards each other. You're holding a ball in between your hands. Uh, start with your hips. Squeeze your abdominal muscles. Bend your knees. Push your hips back. And let's take a seat. And a little bit more. And a tiny bit more. Lift your ten toes off. If your knees are going over your ankle, you won't be able to see your toes. So push your hips so you can see your toes and sit down. And a little bit more. Are you breathing? Ten toes. Inhale, take your hands all the way up. Exhale, back to chair position. Inhale, lift yourself up. Exhale into chair position. Stay. Breathe. Lift both your heels off the ground. I'm going to go sideways here so you can watch me. Lift your heels off the ground. Balance. Stay. Sit down. Add a little bit more. Heels down, hands go up. Chair position. Heels off the ground, balance on the balls of your feet and sit down. 
Heels down, hands up. Last time. Hands forward, simple chair. You can stay here. Option to release your heels off and balance. Heels down, hands go up. Release your hands. Rotate your shoulders. Reverse the direction of the rotation of the shoulders. And let it go. Shake it off a little bit. Let's stretch those legs off. Take your heel and go slightly diagonally here. Maybe you can see better. So your right leg is completely down to the ground. You're going to dig your heel and turn your toes off your left towards your body. Slightly increase the distance between your legs. Flex that feet. Right now our goal is to stretch the calf muscle out one more time. Slowly, we're going to turn our body. For that, try to adjust your right leg so that your hips turn towards your extended leg, which is your left leg. Which means to say, I don't want you to be like this, but I want you to face towards your extended leg. Right? Take your hands all the way into T-arm position. Take it all the way up. Left goes towards the left. Right hand stays up. Option to stay here. No bend in your left leg. Right hand goes forward. Totally optional. Circle that hand. Take it all the way to the back and up. Reverse. Take it to the back. Down and forward and up. Pull the belly button towards you. Release your hands, release your feet. So your left feet is completely pressed to the ground. Drop your hands down, step your right leg forward and shake your legs off a little bit. Let's do the same thing on the other side. Let's take our right leg, increase the distance between our legs. Angle your left leg so that you already turn towards your extended leg. And now take your heel, flex your feet. Shoulders, hip points to the right side. T up, up, right to the right, left hand stays up. This is already a lot going on guys. You can just stay here. You don't have to go any further. Those of us who want to, let's take that left hand forward, circle it, take it to the back and up, stay. Reverse, back, down, forward and up. Remember to strong core, keep your core really strong. Pull the belly button towards you and bring yourself up. Drop your right feet completely down, find the grounding. Drop your hands down, left steps forward and shake it off. Oh, good job guys. All right, let's stretch the top of our thighs a little bit and then we will massage the back. Come into a seated position. Extend your right leg out and let's bend our left leg. So once again, our toes are flexed on both legs. Shift your hands to the top of your leg. For any reason, if you have difficulty to place your hands on your shin, that's okay. You can place it at the back of your thigh. That's still good. Right? Those of us who can place it on top of your left shin, both your hands. Lift your left leg off. Still okay here. Lean back a little bit. Release your right leg off. Totally optional. This is too much for you. Keep it down. Just pull this leg. You're going to feel the stretch in your quads of your left. Stay okay here. You're able to smile and breathe. Switch. And switch. So you're pressing that leg out. Right? And press. Push. Like you know, sometimes you have these pedal exercises. Like that. Press it out. At four. Three. Two, and one, stay, bring both legs up, balance, flex, lift your ankles, look at your ankles, option, release your hands, still okay here, extend, break, boat position, smile at your toes, break, 
and release, let it go. Take your hands all the way up. Let's give a simple forward bend to the body, stretching those lower back muscles. And breathe. Inhale, take your hands all the way up. And rotate. And reverse. Let's come down to the mat. So if you need to adjust your cameras, this is a good time. We're going on to the floor. And once you lie down, bring your knees into your chest. Place your hands on top of your kneecaps and gently circle your knees, touching the four corners around your lower back, massaging it. and reverse. Come back to the center, stay. We are heading into a bridge position. Drop your feet down. Make sure you have space between your thighs. Your thighs are not hugging each other. You can bring your hands into T-arm position cactus arm position or you can simply rest them next to your body. So pick one which works for you today. Very slowly as you inhale, start to peel your lower back off the ground. Your mid back and lift your belly button all the way up. Stay, connect with the base of both your legs. Notice if you're pressing both the feet equally into the ground or are you leaning onto one leg more than the other. Breathe and now roll down, shoulder blades, mid back, lower back and your tailbone. Bring your knees into your chest just one more time. Move your knees from side to side. Massaging the lower back to the width of the mat. Drop your feet down. But take your legs as wide as your mat. So you are increasing the distance between your legs. Open up your hands into T-arm position. Pack your blades. Take your knees, drop it towards your right side. Both your knees. Your knees point towards your ceiling. And drop both your knees towards your left side. So like the car wiper blades. Up. Right. Up, left, back to the center. Bring your knees last time into your chest. You massage the back however you feel you would like to. Maybe drawing circles and reversing the circle. Maybe moving the knees from side to side. Whatever feels good for the back. Gently extend your legs, reach your hands over your head. Let's give one full body stretch. Fingertips and toes being stretched. Somebody is holding two ends of your body and pulling you. Keep your hands over your head. Flex your feet, press the heels away from you. And separate your hands out, separate your legs out. Coming into the final resting position, Shavasana. Feel free to lift your lower back a little bit and place it down on the ground. That way it settles well on the mat. Moving your hands and legs away from the body and allowing them to relax in the most natural way they would like to rest.
Do not hold on to any body part at this time. Simply surrender to Mother Earth. Like a little baby resting in the mother's arms. Deepen your breath. Very slowly take your time, bend both your knees and turn your body to the right side. And take the support of your hands, making your way up into a seated position with your eyes closed. Bringing your hands to the heart center with the thumb touching the heart center. If you wish to make a small prayer for your loved ones in the world around you, you may do that at this time. Whenever you are ready, very slowly begin to open your eyes by first bringing the gaze towards the floor and slowly lifting it up to eye level. Let's start all take a bow together and say Namaste. Namaste. Thank you very much for joining the session today. I will see you all next Tuesday at 10 o'clock. Wish you all a very happy new year once again. Take care.